After looking at the end result, I am sure that you will get goosebumps. This is a rectangle, and we don't have any information about its side length. Now this is some random point inside the rectangle. We now draw four lines from this point, one to each corner of the rectangle. And what we know is the lengths of three out of those four lines. This is four, this is five, and this one is six. And the fourth one, shown in red, is unknown. And that's what we need to find. It feels impossible, right? Because we don't know any of the side lengths of the rectangle or where exactly the point is located inside it. But still, something magical is about to happen. Let's call the unknown length as x. Now comes the clever part. We will draw a vertical imaginary line from this random point, from the top to the bottom edge of the rectangle like this. Because the rectangle has straight sides, this line will be perpendicular to the sides. That means they will form right angles. Let's name the parts to make things clear. Let's call the horizontal distance from this point to the left side as A, and from this point to the right side as B. Then, let's call the vertical height from the point to the top side as C, and the vertical height from this point to the bottom side as D. So this length will also be equal to the length of this piece, right? Thus it will also be A. Similarly, this length will also be equal to the length of this piece, and thus it will be B as well. So now we have four right-angled triangles formed inside the rectangle. First consider this top left, right triangle. Here, the two sides are A and C, and the hypotenuse is X. So using our favorite right triangle theorem, we write A square plus C square is equal to X square. Let me know in the comments, what is the name of this classic theorem? Now consider this top right, right triangle. Here the two sides are B and C, and the hypotenuse is 5. So we write B square plus C square is equal to 5 square. Similarly, for this bottom left, right triangle, we get a square plus d square is equal to 4 square. And for this bottom right, right triangle, we get b square plus d square is equal to 6 square. Are you now ready for the eureka moment? Add this first and this fourth equation with each other. We get a square plus b square plus c square plus d square equals x square plus 6 square. Similarly, add this second and this third equation with each other. We get a square plus b square plus c square plus d square equals 4 square plus 5 square. Now comes the goosebumps part. This means the left side of both these combinations is exactly the same, which is this part. That means their right sides must also be equal. So we say x square plus 6 square is equal to 4 square plus 5 square. What just happened here? We didn't know any dimensions of the rectangle. We didn't even know where the point was. Yet somehow, using just the Pythagorean theorem four times, we were able to cancel out all the unknowns and end up with an equation containing only the known lengths and x. This is not a coincidence. This theorem is called the British Flag Theorem, and it is a lesser-known geometric theorem. So this becomes x square plus 36 is equal to 41. Subtract 36 from both sides, and we get x square equals 5, which means the unknown length x is equal to the square root of 5. And that's it. If you enjoyed this video, please don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to our channel. Also, you can support my channel by joining our community and becoming a member. So good.